how is the grace of the once for all and unique hypostatic union of Jesus Christ, how is that grace communicated to the church? How do they receive the grace of Christ in the church? Well, that, yeah. obviously, the, the main traditional way the Catholic is going to say that, Ronner won't disagree with, and that's through the sacraments. But uh, coming out of Vatican II, that gets expanded in a huge way. So the sacraments are seven in the Roman Catholic scheme. You know, the, what happens is that Ronner also starts to see that if God is giving the gift of himself, God's omnipresent, <laughs> just much like a radio station, as long as you're in range, that signal's getting presented to you. And so Ronner starts to see, and others do as well, that the whole world is a sacrament because God's grace is available everywhere, not just in specific locations where a priest is um, celebrating the Mass or where somebody where they're baptizing somebody. And so it's not the explicit distribution or means of grace, but it is no less real and no less bearing the power of salvation to say that that the whole world is a sacrament and sacramental. Because as long as you're the question isn't so much are you a Catholic in order to be in order to be saved. So in the question of salvation, the question isn't specifically for Ronner, are you Catholic? It's better to be Catholic. But the question is, are you human? Right. And if you are a human, whether you know it or not, if you reach out beyond yourself and you try to be a better person, you try to improve and in all the vague ways <laughs> that you want, there, none of this is really specific. It's not like he's giving us a list of specific things to do. But if, if you are existential, reaching out towards the great beyond and you know, looking outside of yourself, trying to improve and, and to, to become actualized and to be a better person, then even if you don't know it, you're reaching out towards Christ and you're reaching out toward the church. And so that's why an atheist or a Muslim, or, um, a Jew, anybody can uh, receive the grace of God the salvific grace of God, the uncreated grace, it, just not in the forms that the Catholic Church is offering, even though ultimately Rahner views that grace is the grace of Christ, which is explicitly and concretely expressed within the Catholic Church. So you have it both ways. 